My name's George Brown. I'm one of the co-founders here at Partner Economics. And so I'm Dana Wilmer, one of the co-founders of Partner Economics also. I'm a business strategist by nature and work with George to help partners drive better business outcomes, improve their profitability, and earn better liquidity event down the road. Just like the complexities of cloud and the need for support and help, we see that right now the community is really in need of banding together in terms of sorting out how to address the impact of generative AI in this business at a time when we need to do some significant investments, actually. Yeah, I think there's also a real need for shared infrastructure in that environment, right? I mean, no single partner, especially smaller partners, just really aren't going to be able to afford a lot of the expertise and infrastructure that they'll need to be competitive. Well, the risks are, are many, but probably the biggest risk is that they will walk unconsciously into the future thinking they have time to adopt. Generative AI is not in control of us as a partner system anymore. It's in control of the customers and their demand. And if you can't service that demand, they will certainly get someone else to service it because they themselves are going to come under competitive pressure like we've never seen. And inertia is a very powerful factor, right? We tend not as human beings to change until it's absolutely necessary. And unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of a lot of time with respect to the AI waves that we're now going to have to deal with. Right. So you'll need extra capacity to bring the new clients into, you know, a cloud first world. Right. Then you're going to need somebody to work with who understands vector databases, SQLs out, and then how are you going to deal with embedding models, things like that. But what specifically are the business outcomes going to be from the application of AI technology at the customer end? When I think about Companial, like as a distributor, I think of, you know, someone that has the knowledge and skill set to really help you with day-to-day -day issues, right? They can help you with licensing. That's a pain in the butt. They can really take care of support. They can help you capitalize on back-end money, things like that, right? So when the partner needs capacity for upgrades, you have the ability to add that capacity. It's important to be plugged into the community. Otherwise, you know, you can't do it all on your, on your own. And this is where Companial, I think, really differentiates itself from other distributors. I really see Companial as an aggregator of knowledge, expertise, and infrastructure that smaller partners in particular, and even larger partners in a lot of cases, can't cost-effectively have on their own, right? That an aggregator, you know, like Companion is going to be a very important part of the business of any partner moving forward, really. If I were a partner today, I would sign with Companion. I would not want to deal with Microsoft. I'd want Companial to have all the headaches with dealing with Microsoft while I get to deal with Companial in a friendly way.